My name is Sally Helmy. I'm a visual artist and a registered nurse um, based in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, I first want to say thank you to the Visual Arts Center of New Jersey for having me participate in their Cabin Fever Artist Talks. And I hope that as you guys are watching this, you're home, some are safe, some are warm and healthy and home, to reiterate that. Um, some of the questions that Sarah asked me, I'm going to run through. And some of them are things that I've thought about before this pandemic, which I'll reflect on and kind of how they've changed to right now. I'm first going to talk about how am I balancing being both an artist and a nurse right now. I think that a lot of people have kind of shifted their perspective of my work and really paid attention to the fact that I'm a nurse right now in in kind of context of experiencing this pandemic as a community. I struggle feeling like this is uncharted territory and being that I work in a hospital, I think a lot of people think that you know, I know something that other people might not know, but I go into work and I feel just as like confused and lost as, you know, the people who aren't in the hospitals are feeling. I struggle feeling like I'm balancing trying to stay informed as a nurse, as a cultural worker, and as a visual artist. And the compounding of all those things are really taxing responsibility that I'm putting on myself that translates into my practice, both as a nurse, as an artist. I live currently in fear of being a carrier to patients, being a carrier to my household, bringing the virus home, and obviously being at a very high risk of getting the virus. And so a lot of my work has really been touching on more themes of you know, coronavirus and kind of allowing me a space to unpack a lot of those anxieties and experiences of being a nurse right now. Uh, my job has always, my job as a nurse has always been one that had a high responsibility for the safety of other people. And that's something that hasn't really changed before and after before and during this pandemic, but I do feel like I live in more fear because of lack of supplies and low PPE and just prolonged N95 mask wearing, like wearing that mask for 10 hours at a time just makes me irritable. I can't concentrate. I can't breathe properly. It, has impacts on my skin and so being an artist who my medium so much communicates texture and sickness and skin and health and healing so much this time is just a very stimulating time for my practice of being a nurse and being an artist I think that the emotional toll of being a nurse right now has taken up more space in my life than I could have ever imagined. I think my days off have been more consumed with resting, giving myself more time to heal. And sometimes that looks like partaking in my visual art practice and sometimes it just means just resting and laying down and lowering the impact of like thinking and conceptualizing on myself because it can be really heavy to be doing that as a nurse and then coming at home and doing that as an artist just around the clock so I try to give myself time to actively work on my projects that are in progress right now, but also just to rest. And I think it's important just for my practice since it's something that I really highlight to the people I'm communicating to. Um, when I'm making work right now, I kind of recognize the extremes that I'm existing in as a nurse and as a visual artist. When I'm 
working right now i'm working from home i'm not going into my studio that is in downtown newark so i just really am like wow i'm home and i'm safe and i can i have these tools and it, i'm just so amazed at how slow slowed down i can be during those times and how i can just like breathe with no mask on so just like that extreme in conjunction with the other extreme of just not having time to even breathe and completely living in a very exploited experience when i'm at the hospital those juxtapositions and are, are, are really difficult right now to to balance so i thought it was an interesting question and i think right now i think it's increasingly more important to self-preserve and to push myself within me it within like healthy limits to maintain a visual arts practice just because of the time that we're in and i think it's changed to being a more simplistic practice i've definitely shifted more to my sketchbooks and just kind of going back to the basics allowing myself something that's accessible something that doesn't take up a lot of space especially since i live in a communal home and something that still allows me to kind of unpack a lot of those narratives of that extend outside of my nursing practice like health and wellness and texture and really creating a visceral, visceral language of something that is assessing, diagnosing, intervening, and just communicating a narrative of like our relationship with our bodies. And so my language really transcends both of my roles as a nurse and as an artist. So currently my art studio is at home and I've definitely shifted to a more smaller scale, but up until this point, my studio is still located at Index Art Center in Newark, New Jersey. Um, I miss my Newark arts family very much. And I think that everybody's been doing their best to stay connected and to produce work despite those, you know, separations and distance from each other and our communities. Currently, one of the bodies of work that I'm revisiting is a piece I did um, back in the fall of 2019. And I asked people to write on surgical masks in answer to the question, what slash who do they want protection from? And this is kind of an interactive project that I did. And I wanted to kind of analyze themes of safety, themes of protection, and it's just so crazy to revisit this concept right now in lieu of a pandemic where these supplies are being shipped across countries, across states, through communities because they're in shortage. And I think that some of these answers, like this one and this one, like our leaders' bad decisions are really being highlighted in this pandemic. And I'm not going to go too much in detail because it's still a work in progress, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a view of these responses. I've done a lot of projects in the past couple years about hands. I think that they're, they've been very symbolic of my practice as a nurse and as an artist. It's something that I analyze in my own experience and something that I analyze in others and observe what people do with their hands. And especially in this pandemic, I think that that has been kind of amplified, that experience of hands and washing them and touching things and not being able to touch each other. So this whole kind of symbolism that I've been working with for a few years now, I'll share some of the pieces that I've been currently doing. This is a piece that I did of gloved hands. And 
it's something that I've been thinking about a lot because everybody's wearing gloves right now and I probably go through dozens of gloves in a work shift. So it's kind of a little bit different than how I've been illustrating hands, but I have a lot of texture. This kind of dot-like texture that I've been using is new and I think it's it allows me to color an area without just simply coloring it and the kind of ritual of having to press each of these dots has been very therapeutic during this time. Another piece with the hands that I recently made is this one. And it's a bit of a mix, there's a lot going on, but you can still see kind of the community hands is what they symbolize. To me, you can see the N95 mask, you can see the surgical masks, you can see the hand sanitizer, a lot of the bacteria that I'm trying to create. Another piece that I recently have been made have made is this one. And this is kind of how I've been traditionally illustrating the hands. But you can still see kind of that neurotic, time consuming dot pattern that I've been exploring. I think I've been trying to find ways to draw that slows me down and that's that is a little bit more heavy a lot of a lot of times my drawing style is very airy and simple minimalistic so to be kind of using a lot of color using a lot of saturated markers using more texture and it's way more concentrated on a small page is kind of me exploring different ways of illustrating this is a drawing that i recently did of kind of immune boosting foods so as you see this kind of repetition of home hands viruses bacteria the immune system the body is something that i've been like that has been very highlighted in my experience that i've been communicating through my visual language And this is one of the first pieces that I did during coronavirus. And you can kind of see in the front how I kind of date it and kind of I'm also archiving social distancing, flattening the curve. And this being an illustration that I think really symbolizes some of my feelings on the spread, the amount of numbers, the data, the texture of our current times, but also it still maintains this really, to me, like almost re repetitive, like repetitive act of like taking time to, to just slow my process down through the, the use of these little um, circles. So here is a piece about immunity that I most recently did. And here you can kind of see how a lot of my work is abstracted from microorganisms and systems of the body. And I like to include shapes and abstract them and include texture and a lot of color through illustration, paint, paint markers, and pens are usually a part of my medium. Another piece that I've been working on is I've been drawing homes and it's very on 
on brand <laughs> with the time right now and I think it helps me kind of conceptualize what it means to be at home and it still includes the kind of lightheartedness that my work tends to narrate a lot of pastels a lot of texture my inspiration right now as an artist and just as a person really comes from the human body um the power of touch the power of healing motherhood being a caretaker nurturing things and viewing all of these holistically as medicine and kind of my art practice being an extension of that medicine an extension of that practice of being a nurse so that's really where a lot of my inspiration comes from the next question that um, was asked is what do you think are questions American culture needs to be asking itself right now so I think we need to be asking ourselves um, about our culture around exploitation and consumption as a nurse right now that experience is being highlighted as a nurse I'm being exploited and then not being given hazard pay not being given the adequate amount of supplies to protect myself, but yet I'm getting thank yous and coupons and free things from all of these businesses who are offering, you know, increased consumption. So it's kind of this vicious, this vicious cycle of exploitation consumption. Exploitation consumption is something that I think we need to question as Americans. I've been constantly and repetitively saying at work that capitalism is really the virus here. Um, I've been thinking about how most essential workers are women and people of color. And I think that, that this is something that we need to be looking at and questioning our um, communities as we're going through this experience, how our government is using that population of people to get through this time without compensation, without safety. And as a nurse, I've been thinking about how it's not easy for me to just simply decide to strike because I care about my community. I, I want to show up for them. And so kind of what is the end to this for-profit healthcare system? And I've also been questioning our language around calling this pandemic a war when to me it's a public health crisis that really trickled down to bad leadership decision and so it's interesting that these are some of the responses that i've had in previous work pieces and you know i didn't sign up to be working a war i signed up to be a nurse i signed up to protective to be protected while I like, care for people who are sick. And I don't like being called a hero. And I think American culture needs to ask, ask ourselves, what is our language around war and around these casualties of death when really it's not a war, this is a public health crisis. This is a failure of our systems that are in place, which leave patients and essential workers out to suffer and we distort it through that language um something that i wanted to share that i found on instagram at this page called not dot y r dot boyfriend is it says capitalism exploits us and then says treat yourself you deserve it but what you really deserve is a life that's not stuck in a cycle of exploitation and consumption and I also wanted to share that this quote from at, who, at C O O P E R A T I N O J X N. And the quote says The number of billionaires pushing for everyone to go back to work early proves one thing and one thing only that they don't make their money, you do. 
So I think these are important things to be questioning. As Americans, we have a culture around, you know, a certain, a very small um, group of people reaping the benefits of all of us doing the work to get through these kinds of trying times. And, and one thing that really stuck with me is a quote that I found off of an Instagram called at 69 herbs. And it was written and it says, this is not a time for resource hoarding. This is not a time for ableism. This is not a time when chemicals or, or panic or shame will keep us safer. This is a time for mutual aid. This is a time for rest. This is a time to turn to elderberry and lemon balm and milky oats. This is a time to learn about access from the people who have already been doing it, to find ways to continue to be together from bed, from afar, being sick is nothing new. We already know how to get through. So I think that a lot of social media and a lot of artists have really helped me kind of look at the questions that we should be asking ourselves in American culture. And then lastly, this, the last question that the Visual Arts Center asked me is what do what do we think are questions that the world needs to be asking itself right now? And I think that we need to be thinking about global solidarity, about resource sharing, about that the world right now is looking still, but everyone is exhausted. We need to be thinking about how to find peace and what, um, what we've been ignoring in like other countries and how we can bring that, bring those experiences that we witness that other leadership is doing better into our own country. We need to be learning from each other through that global solidarity. So lastly, I just wanted to say thank you guys for listening. I hope that my experiences as a nurse and as an artist is something that can relate to some of you. And I hope that you continue to stay safe, stay safe and practice social distancing, to stay at home, to do what you need to do to support your immune system. You know, ask yourselves ways to serve yourselves, serve your communities, serve people who are more vulnerable, and really kind of just continue to engage in a practice, whether it's visual or just something that helps you create self-preservation during a time of a pandemic and, you know, just think about ways that we can continue to stay connected and support each other.